Well, as we mentioned earlier in the show, the WC Handy Festival is back. Henderson is hosting a big weekend of blues and barbecue for the first time in two years. Joining us now from Audubon Mill Park is Steve Gold, a Handy Festival organizer. Steve, it's great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Great to have a big live music weekend again. Remind everyone what the WC Handy Blues and Barbecue Festival is all about. Well, the W.C. Handy Blues and Barbecue Festival is a celebration of the time that the father of the blues, W.C. Handy, lived in Henderson, Kentucky. And uh, that was many years ago, and he has left a legacy not just in Henderson, but throughout all of music and all of the different types of music that have grown out of the blues. And consequently, you guys have many acts over the next several days that come in here and they perform for folks. Let's talk about some of the musicians coming in here. Give us a rundown of some of the more prominent acts that are going to be performing this year. Well, we've got some great bands every night, some that you've heard of, some that you may not have. Uh, but tonight, our headliner is Christone Kingfish Ingram, who is getting all kinds of national play. We really booked him as his star was on the rise, and he'll be playing uh, tonight at 9 o'clock. And then tomorrow night, we have uh, Dwayne Dupsey and Chubby Carrier. That's our big Zydeco night. It's a ton of fun, and uh, we get kind of in a New Orleans spirit there. And then Friday, we go from noon until almost midnight, and we've got some fantastic bands all through the day. Um, Larkin Poe and Eric Gales, those are the two big uh, bands that night, but all of them are, are just solid top to bottom. And then Saturday, we go from noon to midnight again and have national acts all throughout the day. There's a little something for everybody. Samantha Fish and Walter Trout are the uh, headliners, the two last bands that night. We've got Grammy winners aplenty. We've got national acts, and we've even got a few local ones. So everybody come on out. The, the ticket price is just right. It's zero. It's absolutely free, and the weather is gorgeous. It's a glorious time to be here in Henderson, KY. Cannot stress that enough, the world-class music that people can hear for free right there on the Henderson Riverfront. Now, there was no Handy Fest last year because of the pandemic. What does this mean to have the festival back this year? You know, we referred to last year kind of as the handemic. Uh, we weren't able to have a festival. And, uh, you know, even as, as recently as about eight weeks ago, we weren't sure if we were going to have a festival or what it would look like to do safely. We didn't want to be a super spreader event. And uh, once we made that irrevocable decision to go forward, uh, as things started to loosen up, it went from, are we going to have a festival to, oh my goodness, this could be the biggest festival we've ever had. And that's a great thing but it's been a lot of work to cram into a little bit of time. Yeah, restrictions are lifted. A lot of them are in Kentucky, but are, are you doing anything specifically, uh, you know, be, because of the pandemic, things like that? Well, we're still encouraging people that if you're if you're not vaccinated, uh, you know, you might want to consider uh, wearing a mask. Um, if you are showing symptoms of being sick with COVID or anything else, it's probably not a good idea to come out to a large festival. Um, we do have some things that uh, we're doing with our performers. We signed contracts with them kind of in the height of COVID. So as far as how we're feeding them and things like that, uh, we're we're still uh, doing some of the protections there, but uh, we're just encouraging everybody to come out and be safe and use common sense. Yeah, and it is an out outdoor event, which makes it a lot better, too. And Steve Gold, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, head on down to Audubon Mill Park this weekend. Free music, great barbecue. Good luck to you, Steve. I hope the festival is everything that you say it is, and I'm sure it will be. Thank you so much.